So what we do is we artificially incubate the eggs and we then assist hatching if need be or we just kind of manage the hatching. So what we are going to do today, very exciting, is we're putting our first two babies back with their surrogate parents. The reason why we're giving them to surrogate parents is uh, the real parents have given us two eggs, two fertile eggs. So I'm giving the second eggs to the real parents and these first eggs I'm giving to surrogates that have given us infertile eggs. So that is always a very exciting day for us. And we're busy candling each egg, we're weighing them in order to make sure that the eggs are growing correctly and everything is running as it should with, with our eggs. So it's an exciting egg and chick kind of day. So yeah, and we're excited to have you guys along with us. Hi babies. Babies, it's a little cold. These guys are four days old, and so what we do is we artificially incubate the eggs and we then um, assist hatching if need be, or we just kind of manage the hatching. We then have these little guys in our care for as long as it needs to take, so we feel they're strong enough to go back with the parents. And the reason why we're pedantic about that is we want them to be able to beg for food, we want them to be able to hold their necks up, and that let's say by accident a parent's little talon stands on them, that they're not going to end up getting killed unnecessarily. So we just want good, healthy, strong chicks, chicks that we know have a really good chance of survival and being raised naturally by their parents. So that's what we're going to do today is give them back and then from here on it's hands off. So I, we've done what we've needed to do. We've managed the process, we've given them the best possible chance um, of success for survival and now basically it's the parents' duty and their job to, to do the rest. That one. Okay. So, Anetsu is brilliant at this. Basically, what he's going to do is he's going to go behind, take the dummy egg, and squeeze in the chuck. Okay, Anetsu. Don't move. Vultures breed once a year and it's during our winter season. So you're looking at anywhere from the end of May up to and the end of July. You can still expect um, eggs to be laid. Incubation is 54 days, so it's a really, really long time. And then the chicks are with the, the adults, the parents, for a good maximum of five months until they fledge. What we do here as part of our captive breeding program is all of these birds are non-releasables. However, not all is lost in that each individual is able to contribute to their wild species uh, through captive breeding and through the release of their offspring. What we try and do is we try and give every single individual pair an opportunity of raising a chick. And so if they give us infertile eggs or if something happens to the eggs, they will then still get a chick to raise. And, and all of that is to maximize our productivity and at the end of the day to release as many offspring back into the wild 
to supplement and support the dwindling populations. Vultures just want to be parents. They're the most incredible, loving, tentative species, and both male and female. So Vulpra has been at Chamori now for just over a year, and things have been booming. We've been growing, um, significant growth actually. Initially, we brought in just the capes and the whiteback vultures. Since then, with um, some amazing support, we've managed to bring in a pair of white-headed vultures. We've managed to bring in all our leopard face vultures, so we've got um, three breeding pairs. We've also very excitedly brought in Egyptian vultures to look at a reintroduction program for the country. And we've also grown our numbers of Cape vultures and whiteback vultures. Last year, came in and went very, very quickly. We managed to produce 17 Cape vulture chicks and we've released all of them and they've done ex exceptionally well. The bulk of them, I'm happy to say, are still flying around the Eastern Cape and they are spreading their wings, so to speak. This year, we are in the, the midst of our breeding um, for, for this season and we've far surpassed any other season to date where we've got now 33 fertile eggs which is phenomenal. It's, it's been our best season to date. And then I would just like to give a big shout out and a big thanks to all our sponsors that have made this possible. Obviously to Shamari, we, we could not have obviously moved and brought in the breeding program without our partners, um, the Shamari Wildlife Foundation. And then to the- Olsen Animal Trust. And the Humane World Society, also a huge big shout out to them for sponsoring more enclosures. And then also Gauntlet Conservation Trust, they're based in the UK. They also funded an enclosure for us. And last but not least, to Zeus Lin, who is really taking on the plight of the Egyptian vultures and has also supported us with further funding to grow this project. And then to the World Bird Sanctuary in San Diego Zoo, who actually sponsored the first pair of Egyptian vultures. So a big shout out, a big thanks to, to all of them for making this, this possible.